and welcome to Spoiler Kings. Guys, Cobra Kai is out. Yes, it is. It is great. Came out a couple uh, months earlier than I expected to, so it was like it was it was it was definitely like an early Christmas gift, man. So I, good. I almost don't even want to talk about it. I feel like I have to leave room for us to revisit this, but I just I just only want to talk about the only the opening couples of uh, of episodes because I want to leave room for Tank to be able to give his his own own spin on this because this Absolutely. I love it. And I actually love. I want to talk to him about it and hear his opinion on it because it's it was really good. Uh, it really was this this show overall, man. Just um, you know, I can't believe this show is so good because when I heard about it initially that they were doing this continuation of Karate Kid, I was like, oh, you know, they're they're now you know in the in the wake of Stranger Things, they're just cashing in on nostalgia. Um, and then I'm hearing from people, holy crap, this is a really good show. This is a good show. This is a great show. This is a great show. So I'm like, all right, fine. I'll give it a look in episode in. I'm like, you know what? That was good. I watched another episode. I'm like, holy crap. That was, that was, that was good. This is a great three episodes later. Holy crap. This is really good. But yeah, I, uh, I really like where they're going with the plot, you know, you know, how they have, like, even more, you know, legacy characters. Chosen was a regular on this season, which oh, is awesome. So Probably one of my best things, if if not my number one best thing about this season, was him. Mike Barnes, they brought him back. Mike Barnes was so good. Oh, my God. Bad Boy, Bad Boy of Karate was back. So Andy said it was you know? really good. I want to read some of these comments. Uh, House of Nerds said... Uh, so so far, Cobra Kai season five is a lot better than season four. Mm-hmm. I like season four fine, but season five is really good. I love everything they did with it and how they took it to a new a new place. Not just the same old story storyline mm-hmm. over and over again. Uh, they have new characters and they changed it. So I love the way they did this. He, yeah, Andy said he watched it in a couple days. How many days did it take you, Brandon? It, it took me probably like. Eh. I knocked that out in like half a day. <laughs> I think it took me two days. I watched it's like one a... through four and so fast. And then I watched mm-hmm. the end this flew by like the next day. Yeah, it's it's such a it's such a quick, um, easy watch. Yeah. You know, you 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 just you just plow through it. It wasn't cringe worthy. There's no part of it that was like, oh, I don't want to see it. I didn't care. You know, tank loved it. I knew it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it keep it keeps me in it keeps me, you hooked, man. Like it's really good at that, and so, I like where um, I, I like you know how they made the silver this nef- um, like a big nefarious threat. Yes, you know I liked that. I, I, I like that things were patched up between Miguel and Robbie. It was about it was about time. So that, I want to get into that specifically. So, but uh, so he said uh, House of Nerds said. Almost gave up the show after season four, but season five definitely re- renewed it. I, I think it's way better. Mike, yeah. uh, Mike Barnes. <laughs> Mike Barnes was back. That was amazing, dude. It was so good. I loved it. There you go. It was so stupid, over the top. CW a thousand, a hundred percent, a hundred thousand times style teenage old man drama ever, but it was perfect. Mm-hmm. No, see. This one was even better because you know I I loved. First of all, how much can you, do you want to give spoilers? Or no, do you want to do this as no spoilers, and then we'll talk about this. Talk about it like Monday, maybe we'll take try to jump on with spoilers, or do you want me to go at? What, what do you feel more? What do you feel more? I'll follow. I'll follow your lead. Uh okay, let's just be general about the show before, so we don't have to get specifically into it. Because we can get specifically in it on Monday, and I'm oh my gosh, that it is so cool. All the, the the characters they brought back, yeah, fit in so perfectly. And yeah, even the never... new stories are great. And the only person I really didn't like was Sam. She pissed me off the entire episode. The entire well, is it only Sam? 
Yeah, pretty much. Kenny, I didn't like what they did with Kenny, but I think it's pretty much. I Sam. think I think Kenny, uh, you know, he went a little too. You know, some some aspects of his character are very similar to Hawks to me, or like Hawk early on. But I think that uh, you know, even Hawk had those moments of hesitation and regret. Yeah, Kenny just kind of went full on baddie to me. You gotta remember uh, his 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 brother, his older brother is in Juvie. His older brother's in Juvie. You know, so there's a lot of the anger house. there. There's a lot of yeah. anger built up in him, and so I understand it. I just wish they would have given him more of I a. Wanted- a, a better rate, a better ending for him. But I think that's why you have a, a whole nother season coming up soon. Yeah. So. yeah. so I think they're going to save a lot of that. And, you know, I really, I really wanted him to save some of that aggression for that curly haired bully from the, from season four. If you remember him, <laughs> he's the one that, that joined them, right? Penis breath. Then the join is Cobra Kai. <laughs> <laughs> Did they join Cobra Kai? Did they show? Did they ever show them? Was it was it Penis Breath the guy that was a part of that team? No, no, no. I'm I'm talking oh, about the other for uh that uh, what's called a uh, friend um that Anthony's friends with. Anthony's friend, yeah, the okay. little blonde haired, curly haired little little kid. Uh, Sam is yeah. the worst. <laughs> and you know, Sam Sam didn't really didn't really really start bothering me until this season. You know, she was really grinding on my nerves this season. Look at this. They announced a new Karate Kid movie earlier today. Really? Yeah, I did remember seeing that article. I don't want that. I want to just enjoy my Cobra Kai and go <laughs> be done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This. And, you know. Um, and yeah, yes. And, and this is another know. question. When will Hopefully Hillary next Wang season, show up? I was yeah. just saying that I know everyone treats the next Karate Kid as the as the redheaded stepchild of the series, but they could bring back Hillary Swank. They could bring back the character of Julie. If episode, if if, if uh, the third Karate Kid can do so well, then why not? You know, chosen being that good and them making good on that that movie, why not bring everyone? Yeah. At the House of Nerds show. I didn't see that a sequel or remake. I don't, even or think, remake. I don't even think they said what it is. They just said there's a new Karate Kid movie coming out that they announced, which you know I'm, I hope it wouldn't be a sequel because we have our sequel right here that we're discussing currently. Yeah, exactly. Uh Yes, yeah, so Sony announces new Karate Kid movie pushes Madam Web and Craven the Hunter. Ah, well. It's all because it's of Cobra Kai. Yeah. It's being described as the return of the original Karate Kid franchise. Is we have a return that? of the original Karate Kid <laughs> franchise that's going on right now on Netflix. And this is true right here. This season we have an evil Cobra Kai female sensei. Here comes Swank. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. My coffee. I got this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, I, I understand I, I, that. So here's my question to you then. What do you rank it? How do you rate it, baby? Oh, the, um, oh, this is an absolute now. Like this is an absolute now, like like on on Ban Venom. <laughs> you know, watch this if you have not. If if for anyone watching this and ha- and has not and has not watched any Cobra Kai, I'm talking directly to you. What are you doing? <laughs> what? what? We've all been teenagers show. and we all will enjoy it. You you you've been in the situation of one of the characters. Definitely. Oh, in that that situation. One more time, you kind so, of broke up there. I was saying, someone, someone you know, or you, have, if you're watching it, you, you are going to be look, see yourself in one of the characters, no matter what. Yep, definitely. And, and definitely. that's what's a good thing. So we all been in the, these situations in high school and been either, you know, this is the best time of your life, or you've been the weirdo, or 
you just started to begin become yourself at this t- point. Everyone has a character that reminds themselves of something they went through, and that's yeah. another thing why it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's it's a very smartly written show, and I like the whole. It's almost got like in a weird way. It's it's almost got like a like a soap opera vibe to it, which it which is, I mean CW ish, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very CW ish. Um, and but it's but it does CW type drama a lot better than CW itself. Yeah, I agree. And, and you know, and it and it really advances the story in a very engaging way. And, you know, whenever I watch the show, I'm like, this is an all out gang war that started back in 1984 over a over a girl's broken radio. <laughs> you know, that's so funny. All right, let's that's how this whole th- that's how this whole thing started. But I'm really enjoying it. And it always leaves me wanting more. You know, that's probably why why I just plow through the entire season within a matter of hours uh and and just and just self and just self isolate and turn my phone off all right before i get to all the comments i want to say i definitely think it's a now i love this episode this uh, season i went through it and i i, I remember telling you guys i texted you guys saying i felt like this was almost an into the 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 series this felt very fi- finale like final uh there's more people obviously cobra kai is never dead so someone else could come in and jump in um to cobra kai and then crease uh there's something that happened with crease since we're not doing spoilers right now so that we could always jump into that and see what, what's going on with that but it just seems that our main characters have kind of found themselves already mm-hmm. so i was like so anything you did was going to be it feels like it'll be very I mean, something that's already happened. It'll be like a, you know, like redoing something, the same storyline. And because of that, I felt like I don't know how season six is going to work. But of course, I'm going to watch it anyway. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, after season six, um, you know, if if season six is the last season, I'd be totally fine with it. I think it should be. You know, I think this is a this is a good point to kind of cap it off. You know. You gotta you gotta know when to when when to when to cap things off and just kind of put a pin. Robbie's already twenty five years old. I mean, how how long are you gonna keep him in high school <laughs> or just yeah. out of high school? <laughs> and 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 you know, Mary Mouser, who plays Sam, is older than him. <laughs> you know, so you know, season six. You know, it, it, it might it might be time to to call it quits after there you that. Go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So of course, Tank says it's a now, without a doubt, now. Easily, this is this is one of my favorite shows right now. Easily, okay. you know. So All right, I want to get to some of these comments. So we were talking about that, but uh, the House of Nerds show uh, says dropping June seventh, twenty twenty four. So obviously, I think Cobra Kai should be done before in having any of that. Mm-hmm. Um. It says, seems like the film will ignore the Netflix series. Well, that'd be hard, but I guess, you know, Sony yeah. doesn't do anything right, so why not? Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> what? What are? The, why would they just ignore the Netflix series? I just, you know, th- this doesn't seem like one of those, it doesn't need, like, a soft reboot where, where you pull, like, a Terminator Genesis and ignore some of the previous movies that came out before it and just kind of do your own thing. Uh just just it's kind of like why just continue on with cobra kai we got a good thing going with that <laughs> well we know that chan won't be, won't come back because he hates western society now <laughs> that's, that's true there you go this, this is what i want to get to he said uh, i've always found it funny how every street gang in the 80s uh, movies knew karate karate. <laughs> this is what it is <laughs> and it's so funny because they really like all the, the old karate is like really and then slap their, their thighs and they're ready to go. That's <laughs> just like every 80 movie, every 80s movie. Uh, to, even Marvel, they knew they shouldn't ignore Netflix. Exactly. So, and you know, I, I know this is a totally different story, but that's why I think Daredevil 
The reason it's 18 episodes long is because I think he's going to bring in all the um, defenders are all going to come in or be introduced in his Netflix series. Which would be awesome. I think that's so cool that there's going to be so many episodes of that. I was like, if it's one a week for 18 weeks, (laughs) that's four months long. That's four months long. (laughs) They they better dump that entire episode, that, that entire series out. At once. No, they, well, they're going. They're going to give you three. Probably the first episode will be three, mm-hmm. and then I think the the end we're going to have three at the end. <laughs> the, they can ignore the defenders and Iron Fist. No, just ignore Iron Fist. Defenders weren't that bad. Just ignore it, Iron yeah. Fist. Or you know, just just kind of kind of hard reboot Iron Fist and and bring in a different actor. You know. Even though I didn't blame Finn Jones, he was not the problem. Uh, the the writing just failed him. <laughs> yeah, agree. You know, I'm not going to put that on 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 Finn Jones. He did what he could. Was it enough? No. <laughs> if they're going to bring in Iron Fist, hire hire a better choreographer. God damn it! Those <laughs> tacky friggin' Power Rangers esque fight scenes. Uh, but overall, for Cobra Kai, we love it. We are all in agreement. Oh, yeah. And I, th- I want to do a spoiler one when Tank's able to jump on. I don't want to do it without him. 